All right, let's get on with another tainted Lilith attempt. I will be doing this until such time as she kills Delirium. But that's okay, because she's a fun character to play as. Taurus is not a good starring item for her though, because she's so slow. I guess I'll still give it a go. Oof, 0.55. It'll take ages to kick in. Also, this run goes out to the person who commented saying they didn't like that I sarcastically make fun of the game. And I thought, oh, they must be new here. And then I checked the little badge next to her name and it said they'd been subscribed for four years. Presumably they must have been watching every video muted. I don't know. Hello, monster. Yeah, people are weird. Did you install the same mods as me, EVP, after you asked me about them, or...? And did you tinker with them at all, as well? of a lot of stuff. It's part of the shtick. It's a British thing as well. We like complaining. Um, We don't need anything else on this floor. Not a good star, mind you. I lost a black heart already. He didn't stall them, didn't tinker. Yeah, I, I didn't even know where to go tinker with them, honestly. So I just have them as default. 30% feels right, though. It feels like it's still a long, difficult fight, but it's not too long. Uh, flies when we pick up pennies. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't mind a tinted rock, considering we have some bombs as well. You can't manage to kill Delirium with your current build. Wait, you have a build for tainted Isaac? How do you dictate what you pick up? Oh, Taurus might kick in in here. Or do you mean Tainted Cain? Or whichever one? Yeah, it's Cain you, you craft stuff for, right? What, 30%? A mod that reduces boss armor to 30% of its actual value. On everything that has it. Just in case there was a crawl space. Okay, so you are playing with Tainted Isaac, but you have a build for Tainted Isaac? Oh, you still have the run open! Wait, you have nine lives then. Taurus is going to kick in in a second. Got the zoomies. Yeah, that speed is a bit too fast. Let's not have that speed. Guppy's paw and nine lives. Yeah, doing it with three health, unless you've got ridiculous damage, is a bit of an ask as well. Yeah, so you can turn it into three. I know. Well, we still haven't lost the gold heart, so there's no need to go into a shop. That's a mimic up there, I don't want. Oh, wait, no, this can hit open mimics, can it? No. I thought it did. Boo! I think that one files down spikes, but I want the flies. And we're supposed to be going fast to get to Delirium. Who even is that? Uh, um, urge to just start again, rising. Yes. Yeah, spike, actually that might bring down the ones on the new rocks as well. Each time you pick up nine lives you get 
Oh, okay. Hello, Pixel. Your internet crashed. Apparently, Twitch has been having issues as well, so don't worry about it. And the, the new poll site we used for the Sunday poll also went down for a little while. I think Cloudflare... Cloudflare? That's what it's called, right? Son of a bitch. I think they were having issues again. Well, we got our range up. That's, um, a range up. And we'll persist. It's the bot invasion. I wonder if anyone will start using that as an excuse for other issues. Okay, so we're up to... No, we're... I forgot we got a range up. That's interesting physics. <laughs> That's not how things are supposed to work. I'll take it though. I mean, we're certainly strong enough to still beat these early floors just because of how strong she is to start with, but we're getting nothing. Taurus doesn't work well with her. Ball of bandages is fine. Wait, where did I get ball of bandages from? Did I always have that? We got the range up from the boss. Taurus was the item room. No, the the range up was from the boss, wasn't it? Oh, I'm forgetting I did two floors. Yep, sorry. That's what it was. I was like, this is the second floor. No, it's not. Apologies. Anxiety ran a, ran a little high before the stream and I'm still feeling the after effects. Or rather, still feeling the effects, let's say. So I'm not super coherent. It's not warmth. It's not warmth related. It's being distracted by dumb body influence. Uh, that doesn't carry a stat up, but it's okay, I guess. Oh, it absolutely does. It's more range. Hello, Echo. See, I can't remember if I'd already said that or not, so that's why I said it again if I did. Ooh. Right, yeah, I can just knock stuff off the spikes. I don't even need to worry about diagonal walking. The day was going very well prior to that. We've got some painting done, got a Crisis Protocol match done using the two new affiliations. It's actually been quite a cold day. It's like down to 15 degrees. I did some housework, although Sora makes the hoovering very troublesome. I actually don't mind doing the hoover. Sorry, vacuuming. We call it hoovering. But my god, she despises the hoover and wants to attack it. Hello, Trivik. Might as well just go to the boss. Why am I even clearing these rooms? Looking for Tinnadrox, I guess? Or more resources in general, because we have nothing. Unless they change the D8, it rerolls enemies into worse enemies as well, so that's why I've, I've not been using it. Here. Oh no, it's the next L floor. We're still another item room to find. It sadly means we're walking a 16.9% chance at an angel deal as well. For like the whole floor. Uh, what's this called? Like sticky babies or something? 
Yeah. I don't even remember what this does. It's not the one related to bombs, so maybe it's the one where you can occasionally spawn a spider. Your message got blocked. I don't see any messages being blocked. Trial, did you say RuneScape or Thanos or something? Just say it again without the word. Use a thesaurus. Oh, it's about Spellcaster. We'll be playing it after this for at least an hour. I opted to play it second because I want the anxiety to settle down before then. Ideally. The annoying thing is, the thing that probably spiked it is just like anticipation of streams, so it's more like adrenaline in a good way. Thank you for the raid, Shady. Like a book I read on the subject talked about uh, Bruce Springsteen talking to... I think it was Barbara Streisand? I, I don't quite remember. And they were both talking about that energy, as in like the anxious slash adrenaline they feel before putting on a show. And whoever he was talking to was like, oh yeah, I hate it so much. It makes me not want to go out on stage. And then Bruce Springsteen was like, what are you talking about? It's the best feeling in the world. It's like two interpretations of the exact same re bodily reaction. Hold on. Taurus is going to kick in. Oh, with ball of bandages, it's not too bad. It just takes forever because their speed is so low. Like, if I couldn't have hit that bomb away, I literally would not have been able to outrun it. Tears and shot speed, fine. I've been holding off on using the judgment as well to try and have some, like, funds. Feeling your mute jokes fall on deaf ears, ironically. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch again. Well, oh, I might as well use this now. Well, I could go to the shop too. I don't remember what else was in the shop, so let me check. Hello, Willy. Uh, I'll just get the, the beggar to pay out. Or die. HP up, please. HP up, please. I'm being polite, so I'll be bomb instead. Yeah, one of them. You just gave me the thing I'm going to kill you with. Hmm. Did I misspell it in the title? No, oh, is that a bad word? Oh, hang on, I typoed it. There you go. I fixed it now. If it is a bad word, it was an accident. That's not an HP up. I asked politely and they gave me a lock up. On the plus side, it's a very quick run, and if I feel like I don't have the damage to kill Delirium, we'll just restart. Right now, we definitely do not, because we have base stats. Well, there's a Tears Up, which doesn't really do anything for us, I don't think it makes me whip faster. Well, maybe it does. Can't tell which bones are whose. I think range ups do affect the range of the umbilical cord. Ah. 
It's something funny in German? Okay, as long as it's not offensive. That would have been the worst type of offense, accidental offense. Our item room is garbage on this floor as well. It's only taken us 15 minutes to get here, so I think a restart is in order. This is like we can't work. We can't kill Delirium with this. The more I look at it, it's like, what are you doing? Even with his nerfed armor. And getting an XL floor on the caves was just like. Oh, well, you're, I guess you're not getting any deal items either. Interesting that that was in the Twitch language filler. It's certainly not something I say, I just have the defaults on. MP isn't good enough. I guess we'll give it a chance at a 50-50 deal with the devil. I agree with your assessment, but a really good deal could do it. Deal with devil or angel, honestly, if it's like sacred horror or something. So I'm willing to fight to the boss, and then that'll be the pull the plug. I know that was a champion, but it still took so long to die. Yeah, I used the dice for no reason, but of it. I'm not going to use it against enemies. I left the key because I figured this would be a dead end given my luck, but actually I'll need to go back for it because I think this is going to lead to the boss. Does that card look larger? That's what she said. Is that like one nurse talking to another? At nursing school? Yeah, if you hold the baby out, it fires your tear effects, but the early floors, the contact damage does more. It's also a bit harder to aim. That's why Brimstone is a, a bad item for this character, because it comes out from the fetus's mouth. Mom's knife still works, though, because the, the fetus has the knife. Really? Come on now. The Hierophant. This has like a, a, it has the stench of a train wreck run. Let's see actually. Yeah, I mean maybe because he stands still a lot the bones are worth it. Not when he's doing this, obviously. Honestly, the most damage we do is contact damage from ball of bandages. Oh good, a range up. Oh good, an item that apparently is broken in repentance and an item that I don't want. Holding R. 
We had like four range ups. I'd also like a basement. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, risky. Let's do it. Well, considering the tears come out of the fetus, they're far enough away from me that it might not be so bad. Oh, yeah, you, you go in there. The fetus is throwing fireballs again. Explosions. Mm. We're actually fast enough for the forgotten. Well, it's given me range jumps again, which I don't like. Progress towards uh, the mom transformation, I guess. Oh good, a burning basement. Ooh. Well, I guess with Fire Mind, if it wasn't burning before, it would certainly be burning after. Okay, we need a key. It'd also like a bomb. There was a tinted rock on the last floor, but I would have needed at least two. And it was in an annoying room. Uh, yeah, okay, why not? Less boss HP, but I can't take it off without the matchstick. Case in point, can't pick that up. Fine, as long as you're not going to the base. Well, I have a random talking point. What are the household chores you do that you don't mind doing slash might even like? I alluded to hoovering earlier. I would also say I, I quite like doing the dishes. As far as ones I don't like, absolutely cleaning the bathroom sink. Or mopping the floors, the laminate floors, which I definitely do not do nearly enough because I don't like it. It reminds me too much of my job, my my retail job. Ugh, I can't even take it without getting damaged because funny. You detest cleaning dust. Is it because you think you can't ever win? Because there's always more. I don't like the build-up of dust. It's a futile endeavour. Okay, we've got a bomb. Hello, Magpie. Uh, where was that other tinted rock? Over here, was it? Did it blow up? Oh, no, there it is. <clears throat> you're told your kiddos dust is what your skin leaves behind? I mean, that's true. Oh, yeah, my Hoover keeps on getting jammed with all Soros hairs as well. Tears up. <clears throat> Doing the floor again with the forget me now is the risky play that might pay off and I don't like this start either so sure let's do it. Let's go clear that last room first just in case. If we get a key I can open that. Oh, I was looking at chat. Your hair down to your waist, peppy. This floor is a lot longer than I thought. Two keys? No, nope, just a lot of money so I can stare at the shop door and wish I could spend it. 
Why are you closed? I want to spend money. Forget me now indeed. Okay, we want at least two keys because I want the shop. Red hearts because we don't need them right now. God, it keeps on giving me money that I can't spend because it won't let me in the shop. Okay, I'm gonna hold off and go in the shop first, I think. Especially now we just found it. <sighs> Nightlight is risky, but I'll take it just for the, the slow effect. That was good though. Tainted Lilith is good, although not against the boss that I want vengeance upon. And it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Considering how good she is. But for every run that I die on, that just means we get to play as her again. Oh, these are both really good. Because we're mostly relying on contact damage from the fetus, I think Rotten Baby is the better choice. But that was two really good items. For any other character, I would have taken uh, Spoonbender. Which, as we all know, Phelan can explain what it does. Plan C pays off handsomely? That wasn't Plan C. Plan C is an actual item in this game and it does it kills you. HP, which is a problem. Oh, she mysteriously had to go AFK to do something, I'm sure. Okay, we actually got 2 HP there because of the Spirit Heart as well. That's, that's a good start. Yeah, that was Forget Me Now, i.e. a Rufy. You heard your name? Yeah, I wanted you to tell everybody what Spoonbender does. Where the hell did that spider come from? You see that? I didn't even see it when I came in. Oh, see this is the problem with nightlight when it slows down shots like that. Okay, Guppy's Paw is interesting. What kind of drink were you getting to change the subject so you don't have to answer? I think I walked into my fire there. the one that does like the zooming in on the enemies like bends towards them yes it gives you psychic shots you actually got it right oh look a bitcoin dr pepper what a moat is that is that baby yoda but is a gerbil instead Okay, this is a room where if you've got Nightlight, you're basically guaranteed to take damage, so uh, we'll just Guppy's paw that into three spare hearts and regret ever picking up Nightlight, even though I like it. Champion's Belt for more damage is basically a must because we have base damage. Okay, we can work with this. I like Dr. Pepper as well, for the record, but I'm, I'm trying to not have any caffeine, so... 
Although that said, I had half a can of full sugar, full caffeine Pepsi today, which is probably also a dumbass thing to do if you're trying to avoid caffeine, but hey. I keep on giving myself like little treats and never thinking about, oh, this will probably cause you to have like a miserable rest of your day. That's a good damage up. Oh no, there's the consequences of my actions. I never saw that coming. There's a Dr. Pepper without caffeine. If you're talking about Dr. Pepper Zero, that has caffeine in it. It just doesn't have sugar. And also it's loaded with aspartame, which I'm also trying to avoid having lots of. If I use the strength card and use Guppy's paw, does the game get pissed off at me and kill me? Does anybody know? What happens if you do that? For real, I don't remember if it lets you. Alright, let's find out. Oh, I just scammed the game out of three spirit hearts. That's neat. The game grows angry. Oh, look. Oh, I did actually make a a plastic crack adjacent purchase today. It's not any plastic crack, it's not miniatures. But it's adjacent. Which also prompted me to do some cleaning up to make space. Oh, metal miniatures. I didn't buy metal miniatures either, hang on. So this is the one that gives you Tainted Judas for, like, the knife effect for once, which is garbage, but we'll use it on something. Is it a table for miniatures? No, it was... Like, ever so often I check eBay just to see if anyone's selling off their old wargaming scenery, because... I don't like painting or making scenery because I'm no good at it. And I happened to find a bunch of, like, perfect for Batman, perfect for Crisis Protocol, 28mm to 30mm scale... Uh, building that someone's selling off and I was like, oh, these look awesome, they're fairly well priced. And then I looked where they were based and I was very surprised to see they're over in my sister's neck of the woods, so they're like half an hour away from me. Bombs are key. I still opted to use the postal service though, because I don't want strangers coming to my house, but still. It's a small world, like I was looking at it and was like, hang on a second, that's like right over where my sister is. Little chubby? Big, big, sorry. It's the big bird. I'm supporting local and getting cool things. Well, they must, they must be selling it off either because they're not playing the games that use them anymore. Oh no, that's the one that gives you the Bible effect. I got it confused with the other one. Thank you, Cubian, for 34 months with a tier 1 sub. Hello to you, too. Incidentally, the anxiety might come back, but can you tell? Like, you probably can tell if you, like, listen to the timbre of my voice when I'm feeling it and when I'm not. It's worn off a little bit now, so I feel like I've got a bit more energy. It ebbs and flows, though. I accidentally left the stars card in the abyss and I can't fly anymore. That was me sounding sadder again, but only because of leaving that card like that. Ooh. Yeah, I was getting it Soul of Judas confused with... Ah, oh, crap. With the weird version of the devil card. Nobody likes you, Bombino. Be removed. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could whip the card to me. Hang on, I'll use this in here if... Never mind. I was feeling Krampus, but there was no Krampus. He is not angry enough. With it being in the abyss, there might be an invisible wall. No, absolutely not. Uh, yeah, I'd rather just get into that room for free, because the run is being stingy with keys. Whoop 
it, whip it good. Magnetizing tears? Okay. Also a good item. We're getting to the point where it might be better to shoot. I also just accidentally placed a bomb because my finger slipped. That was a good call. I keep forgetting because there's so many characters in the game now with so many like interesting unique mechanics. Some for the best, some for the worst, but still unique is the nice way of saying it. And then there's all these new items that do new stuff as well. It's hard to keep track of. Especially when you're so used to the way it used to be for so long. Oh, to finish that story anyway, once it arrives I'm going to have some shiny new scenery and I cleared some space to store it as well. I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of, I, I'm secretly, like, I'm more proud of the table layouts I make for the miniature games I play than I am the the quality of the miniature paint jobs. What on earth hit me there? I actually have no idea. Uh-oh. I'm going to need that other pill, please. Hmm. You think a skeleton? What skeleton? Ah. ah, she's too fat to get through the room quickly enough. Oh, I killed it and it popped out a skeleton and it instantly fired because that's what those skeletons do. Yep, you're probably right. You know, surprise failing didn't jump in and explain that given that she would have known instantly. The boss is probably to the south. I want to clear rooms to get a key. We are still very on par to get to Hush. Yeah, she was too busy saying about her Isaac tattoos that have all the game knowledge on it. Prison Break style. It's like Victor Zaz, but with like, item descriptions. She also has the descriptions in ironic places, so uh, a mirror is required if you ask her what any of the poop related stuff does. I'm not even going to tell you where the information on the tainted characters is. What's that word like reworking an old fact in a comic? Retconning. You know I didn't know what retconning was despite being a fan of anime and whatnot until I played one of the Disgaea games and there is a joke about retconning in a Disgaea game and I, I, I don't remember the context or which one it was, I just remember it was Etna that says it. And I was like, what the hell does that mean? And then I, I looked it up, and that's when I learned. There's the keys I need. It's fine, most people here didn't get the taint joke, it's fine. I'll right, take the credit card to the shop. Buy something good that definitely isn't greed, because it's the last shop we'll be getting. Oh, no one, because we'll get one at Hush. But I want to take the Jerry rune with me, though, so I still can't take the credit card. And just buy Greed. Capitalism level 2. It looks like I'm wearing a bowler hat. It's meant to be a meteor or a metal plate stuck in my brain. It looks like she's wearing Mr. X's hat with the rim and everything. In fact, she looks like Mr. X, just with a bloated face and a pencil in his eye and a wake. That's amazing. She's too slow to get around. Yeah. 
Mr. X cosplay. Mrs. X, yeah. Oh no, she's hunting down her husband to introduce it to her to her, his son. I mean, I don't really want any of it. Whatever. I, I want to hold on to Guppy's paw, so we can't take that sadly. Chariot. We have one more shop. Oh, I got lock up for that one penny. Irritating run back up to the boss now, unfortunately. Yeah, you, you can crack out the Harley Quinn Birds of Prey global hammer emote if you want. I feel it might have been warranted. Remember Birds of Prey? You're not allowed to make fun of that movie. My mother liked it. You can make fun of Wonder Woman 1984 all you want, though. The chariot. Did I use that to get through that room slightly quicker? Yes. Wait, this was a double floor this whole time? There's still an item room to find. Son of a bitch. Maybe I'm not fully copacetic again. It does mean we got robbed of another shop again. Okay, we did a lot of damage there. Give me my other item room. Yeah, for the record, I like the Birds of Prey movie. I also did not like Wonder Woman 1984, but I still think it's worth watching to make fun of. Unless you really, really like it and then hear me make fun of it and then write a comment on YouTube being like, I really hate it when he's sarcastic about movies I like. The strange room. I mean, it's no spookies or get -of in, but still. Why you keep your sarcasm detector handy at all times? Wow, that's a really useful invention. No, that's no. You should have done the punchline. Well, there it just exploded now. That's the punchline you should have did. There you go. Where the hell is the other item? Oh, bomb left. I, I need to actually speed up a bit now, because if we don't get to Hush, Delirium isn't guaranteed. There's a 25% chance after Isaac and Blue Baby, I think? It's a 50-50 chance after Mega Saiyan, but we can't get him because we haven't had any Angel deals. Well, let's hurry more speed and all that. I could ignore the item room, but I don't want to because we need more because Delirium takes a while to kill. You've been bla buying plastic crack? What are you buying? What are you selling? I hate this room. I hate this room when I have either base or lower than base speed. Have you got zooms or flight? Doesn't matter. Alright, we found it. <laughs> Literally the last room I hadn't checked yet. Excellent. Was that worth going for? I wonder if it affects the Firemind explosions. Because that's the Bomberman tiers, which means they're gigantic now. They do a lot of damage, but the, the explosion radius is about the same size as this scenery here. So the chance to self-damage is like magnified by two.
Oh, EVP, what are the pre-orders looking like for Crisis Protocol at your place now? The new Doctor Strange and whatnot, is, it seems like all over the place. It does remind me I have a Plastic Crack related conversation, but I don't know if that will scare people off or not. Because I watched the Tommy Mass games talking about their approach to balance and I found it interesting even though I disagree impudently. Still nothing. Nothing hit me there. What hit me there? There was nothing. Mm, do I trust myself to get the hush? No, so we're going to have to take the Polaroid. Because I think we're going to have to just go the normal route and hope that we get the portal because of how slow it's been. New old cards. So Tommy Mass Games was like they're changing some core rules of the game and rebalancing all the original characters that came out, which is a good thing, incidentally. But they were talking about their approach to balance and they said if everything was balanced, the game would be boring. Which I disagree with emphatically, but which is the word I was trying to remember earlier and said something else. They said they aim for a bell curve where there are strong models and there are weak models but they get as close to the median as possible on both ends. Which is more like an hourglass if I think about it, but whatever. They called it that. Yeah, the buffs they showed off were for Hulk, which is like a massive rework of how Hulk works. And a small buff for Captain America Steve Rogers. And the nerfs they showed off were Modok and Shuri. But they're reworking like all, a lot of the original characters, not just the core box. Yeah, so basically I emphatically disagree with them. I think that a balanced game would not be bland because you can have balance but still have different play styles. Also, I think they're wrong because their game is based around such small values of being played. That was a really short floor. We might actually make it. That they have to balance 80% of their characters at either 3 threat or 4 threat, which means they all have to be within a certain power level within those 2 threat levels. Which means they've accidentally done exactly what they said they didn't want to do. And I think that's a lot of people's biggest complaint about the game is every character except like the outliers where it's like super powerful people who are 6 threat or more or 5 threat or more. They all have to be balanced to be 3 threat or 4 threat which creates that kind of blandness that I think puts some people off Crisis Protocol. The uniqueness needs to come from how they play, not how strong they are. And I feel like they don't really get that, so it was a little bit disappointing to hear them say, yeah, we don't really try and balance. We, we want to try and, uh, we want strong characters and we want bad characters. It's different for roguelike video games, though. They, and, like, something like Magic. They need bad cards for different reasons. It's just uh, the problem with this game is the item pool is so blue there's too many bad items. Yeah, but they're updating the starter set with the new rules and new cards they're doing. So they want the, the original starter set to be the starter set for whatever reason. They also said they're changing the card style. They said on the stream that's so that they can, well, they said it's to make it more accessible to people, i.e. maybe people who couldn't read the cards that well to start with. But the main reason, which is the other reason they listed, but you know how they have to do corporate speak, they made it look a lot simpler so that they can do translations, because right now the game is only available in English. So when it's just white with black text on it, it's much easier to just do a bunch of different languages without it costing too much. So that's the reason they're changing how the cards look. That's why most game companies are very icon heavy, so you just need one glossary translated and then the same icons can just work with every language. Saves on doing a bunch of reprints, or different prints. We are actually fast enough that we'll get to hush. Icons are nice, but then you get games like Gotham City Chronicles where they had like five pages of icons. 
all that are very, very complex, and then just kind of hope that you would remember what they are. And it did not work. I could actually just go straight to Delirium. Um, I can't. We're not strong enough. We have to go down to the Hush Floor to get a bunch of items. Uh, yeah, yeah. We can't go straight down. We get a guaranteed Delirium Teleport after Hush anyway. Two speed ups so far. Yeah, interesting. There's all the bombs I needed. Okay, those chests kind of sucked, honestly. The speed up is appreciated, though. Ooh. Sad bombs with. I need to think about that for a second because it's going to make my tears, uh, my bombs very, very dangerous. These are both garbage, that sucks. Have I heard any more in the mech kickstarter right back? Not yet, no, they must still be having shipping issues. As far as I'm aware, it's good to go, they're just trying to find the shipping affordable. I'll definitely make it be known when it's arrived, that's for sure. I think we're going to spam bombs. Rainbow Tears, or, you know, Cookie Dough that gives you Rainbow Tears is also good. I can't pick up any other trinkets. I've got the the tick. Um, I mean, that would be funny. Hang on, let me quickly test. Okay, there's going to be Firemine Tears going all over the joint. That's, that's fine. Ooh. We're going to get Polaroid Invincibility after every time I get hit, which is helpful. We're absolutely destroying this phase. Now, now we have to decide what does more damage. I mean, when the explosions happen, I think that's doing more damage, but the whipping is doing more in general. Full shells. Should save some of these for delirium. You know, I think they changed these, because we've had two spirit hearts every single time I've done Hush. And it's... oh, well, there's actually a third. And it's not something that the mods I've installed have done, because it happened before I installed the mods. I think they changed it to try and balance this fight that those little guys he spits out gives you some temporary health. Which is not an, a good excuse, for, or not a good alternative to the fight taking 20 minutes, because boss armor sucks. But that's still a nice change in general. Okay, that was a good fight. Again, remembering I have modded it so you had 30% of the armor he normally does. <clears throat> you can take the, the tick off. They changed it in Afterbirth Plus, but you need to find the matchstick trinket to do it. You can technically also get it off you by re-rolling. There's no shop on this floor. Oh, that, those spikes don't even go down, it's just to taunt you. This is the greedy room. Thank you, Eon Kitty Hawk, for 62 months in a row, Jesus. With a tier 1 sub, thank you for the support. I think that's all the months. So again, we don't want to find Delirium early, we want to find other bosses that we can devour for items. So a teleport card would be great in case I accidentally stumble on him first try. Did 
to go back to that previous conversation, I do hope that mech game is good. But even if it isn't, as long as the minis are good quality, I'll just have fun painting them. And I think I, I think I went all in on it, so it's coming with some like really nice 3D shields and stuff, like scenery type things. That if nothing else could maybe be good for Mech Warrior. Or something similar or of similar scale. Find Isaac's Fork, eat everything. Isaac's Fork doesn't give you spirit hearts, does it? It definitely didn't used to. Uh, we absolutely do not want to use that. Batman versus mechs. He had a mech suit in Batman Ninja. Which is a fan made fan film where the streamer is Batman. There were mechs in that made of monkeys, yes. The Robin ones were, I think. Yeah, that was good. It's on Netflix. Presumably it still is, anyway. That's where I watched it. Is it Roger Craig Smith voicing Batman in that one? I can't remember now. Whoever designed that Catwoman was incredibly horny. That is an evergreen sentence. Yeah, I'll just, I'm just giving everyone in chat time to type in Batman Ninja Catwoman and then they'll come back and be like, yeah. I'm kind of surprised Night Models didn't do a lineup based on that thing, although maybe it's a licensing issue. Because presumably there'd be a third party. It's no good to me. The action of movie was in March. Wait, what? The action of of what? Communication breakdown. I don't know what hit me. I was looking at chat. Did the enemy rush me? Dark bomb would have been fantastic on this run. No, that was fire mind that time. Was to be expected. That's the medium for. That. Oh, the game almost crashed there, Jesus. I have super bombs. Well, oh, it still caught them all. Perfect. Okay, we actually have a, a spare heart. Like Doctor Who. That's not his name. Shut up, nerd. Not great, but it's a thing. Yes, the correct answer is we don't know his name. Two spare hearts, don't be delirium, it's not delirium. It's death. Good item. We'll get three black hearts and some damage. I wonder if that's set in the death as in death the the mob named death. His drop pull now. The tower card with our current bomb setup is very interesting and scary. I will use it on the delirium fight and we shall all pray.
Mm, that wouldn't have been worth it. Well, actually, no, it would have, because then I could have converted the cars into fight. For even more HP. The lamb! Okay, I tried to get in closer and he just knocked me away. It's been a while since I've said that. Not exactly good stuff either. Although it saves me going back for the health now at least. I will become large for no reason. Which is what I told my patrol parole officer. game decided it's time to pause. Does that sometimes, don't worry about it. Get out of here, Delir, I'm trying to find you. There's probably you in there. It is. Pray! Oh, they're not super bombs. Oh no, they are. Okay. They just didn't look like super bombs. He's become Bombimo. I don't know what he does as Delirium, so I'm keeping my distance. Alright, there we go, he's the lamb. Uh, my bomb exploded instantly? I think a fire mine tier might have hit it. Ugh, look at him. Also, he's in two places at once again. That's creepy, I don't know what to do. kind of spider, the spindly ones. Can't tell if that's doing more or less than the tears, honestly. I mean, sometimes it's not an option because of how far away he is anyway. Why is this little asshole so okay, he's gone? Oh no, not baby plum. Also, there's two baby Geminis now? Thank you, Phelan, for once again empowering the robot. The damage wasn't your fault, I looked back. Kind of a lot going on during the fight, if that isn't aware, uh, uh, obvious. I'm not aware. If you aren't aware, that's what I was going to say. That exploded again instantly and I definitely was not firing at it. I don't know what causes that. Maybe the bomb itself took the fire mind effect? We are going to win. Unfortunately, because that means we're, we're going to have to play these other characters now. Forget he teleports around more the closer to death he is. Is there two umbilical cords in this room? Not counting the one attached to my weapon. Don't know where that appeared from. Oh, there was a champion, Larry Jr. That's what it was. I, again, I got lit, hit by literally nothing. There. That's why this fight sucks. It's not just the super armor. And maybe there. Not 100% on that one. Delirium, it's time to put you to bed, buddy. Where are you? Also, please stop being the foot that sometimes hits you without coming down. There we go. Was it worth it? What does it cost you? Etc. Etc. Did we get an unlock? We did get an unlock. We, oh, we unlocked the fetus baby for everybody. It's called Jello. Or Gallo. Gallo. 
Gelo has appeared in the basement. Ooh. 